right, welcome to video 12. Today is the day brand new products launching for K2 Fabrication. I'm going to build two new products in this video. Um, shortly after that, I will photograph them and get them listed on my website. If you feel so inclined to check out my website, I'll put the link in the description below. And this video is gonna be pretty straightforward. I'm gonna show you what I'm building. I'm gonna build it and that'll be the video. So let me show you what I'm gonna build today. Here is everything for what I am going to build today. First product being a coolant overflow tank. Second product being an oil catch can. Both of these will be just a round universal design that'll fit with most any application. Um, universal mounting bracket, your choice of fitting sizes. So it should work with most anything as long as you can find a place to put it in your engine bay. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, got the tubing cut, got the holes drilled and everything for the fittings. Everything got cleaned up, deburred, and wiped down to prep for welding. So next step, weld all this together.
right here are the finished products. I am extremely stoked with how they turned out. Um, well, they're completely finished minus the mounting bracket and the logo. I haven't decided where I want to put the mounting bracket or if I want to leave it as an option. So I just left that off for now to give that some more thought. And then I need to make a fixture to roll this to the radius before I weld it on there. Uh, yeah, didn't think that far ahead on that one. But as for the products themselves, coolant overflow tank turned out super nice. Uh, I screwed one of the barb fittings in there just for visuals. So you can see what it would look like complete. Uh, the welds laid out super, super nicely. The material finished out really nicely. Extremely happy with how that turned out. And the catch can, same thing. Welds laid out extremely nicely. Material finished out extremely nicely. Very happy with it. Uh, it's got the petcock drain screwed into the fitting on the bottom. So you don't have to use any tools to drain your oil. It has dash 10 AN feed lines on this one because I just happen to have them laying around. But you'll be able to select whatever feed line sizes you need. And then the washable cane and air filter just screws onto the stub that's welded to the top. Inside there is stainless steel mesh to kind of catch the oil mist as it comes in through the feed lines. And there's also a piece of perf welded um, just below the stub for the air filter just to kind of serve as a secondary of any oil splashing up. So that's that, super, super excited. And now I guess I'll just kind of wrap up my video. All right, so I'll wrap this video up by saying, I'm sorry it got a little long and redundant with all the welding, but it just is what it is. Um, also, the links to purchase these products and to all of my socials are in the description below. And do the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe if you feel so inclined. Other than that, thank you for watching and I'll see you